Now, here's a little gem of uh, an idea with regard to how to relax in the exam. Can I suggest that you cover the entire syllabus for the standards? In other words, the standards, excluding the standards that come up in consolidations, there's something like 25 standards in our syllabus. What's been happening recently is because the examiner has been the examiner for so long, he's begun to examine very peripheral areas. So can I suggest an absolutely key strategy, a key approach when you're doing standards is to cover as many as you can to as much depth as you can as time allows. The, obviously my notes cover it to the right sort of standard, uh, right sort of level plus about 5% for safety. So I've written all the notes myself and I hope you benefit from reading them. Um, the... I put in a few cartoons and drawings and so on just to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more challenging. But for you, as you prepare for the exam, can I suggest leave nothing out? Uh, for example, in June 2010, the examiner asks about borrowing costs. If you're a Sainsbury's type company, when you construct a big a supermarket, the cost of borrowing the money to finance that structure the interest on it can be added to the cost itself. And so that kind of obscure standard, IS 23, has come up maybe for a couple of marks in the last 20 exams. But there it was, tearing at you a 10-mark compulsory question. So can I suggest the absolutely vital point with regard to standards in our exam, since it's 45% of our exam, remember, there's five marks in cash flows or interpretation, there's 15 marks in published, and of course there's 25 marks of standards questions, 115, 110. So if you add 5 and 15 plus 25, you can see that 45% of our exam is on standards. So make sure you cover everything in the syllabus as best you can. That is absolutely vital.